Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to see NCERT uh, class 6 chapter 7 which is fractions. So we are going to start with the first exercise, exercise 7.1. Okay, let's read the first question. Write the fraction representing the shaded portion. So whenever we are writing a fraction of any shaded region, we need to check whether they, they are split into equal parts. So then only we can able to write it as a fraction. So you, as you know, fraction has two parts. The top number is called numerator and the bottom number is called denominator. So in the fraction, the total number of parts goes to the numerator, I mean denominator. And how many parts shaded or shaded parts goes to the top or numerator. Now let's look at the first two figure. So they are all equal triangles only. We can able to write it as a fraction. How many equal triangles? Small ones. One, two, three, four. Write it in the bottom denominator place. Four comes here. How many triangles shaded? One, two. Two triangles are being shaded which comes to the top place, numerator. So the answer for the first question is 2 upon 4. So two parts shaded out of four equal parts. I hope you understood the first one. Shall we go to second one? Okay, look at this picture. So again, they are equally, uh, I mean, they are all equal parts. Let's count how many equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 total parts. Equal parts, obviously. We have to write 9 in the numerator. I mean, denominator. Sorry, dear. How many shaded? We need to write the fraction representing the shaded portion. Let's count the number of shaded parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Among the 9 parts, totally 8 are shaded. That is why 8 goes to the numerator. See, As you can see, only 1 left without shading. Obviously, eight other rectangles been shaded. That is why the answer for the second question is 8 over 9. Are you following, dear? Shall we proceed? Okay. Look at the third question. So, it's like a ball symbol. Balls, right? So, total number of balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 goes to the denominator. So, how many highlighted? How many shaded? See, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is why the final answer should be 4 by 8. Isn't it? Okay, okay. Let's proceed. Let's look at the fourth one. Question number four. So, how many total parts? Equal parts? One, two, three, four. Four goes in the bottom denominator. How many shaded? Only one shaded here, isn't it? So, that is why one over four is the answer, the fraction representing the shaded portion, 1 out of 4. So, I hope you are all getting the concept, how to write the fraction. Okay, let's proceed with the next one, question number 5. So, uh, it looks like a square, small squares. Let's count how many squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 in the bottom. How many shaded? 1, 2, 3. So, three, is go, 3 goes to the top. 
3 over 7 is the answer. Isn't it easy? Do you find it easy now? Okay. Good friends. Let's continue. Question number 6. It's a number of floors. How many floors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 in each row. There are 3 columns. Obviously, you can use your times table. 4 threes are 12. Yeah, you're right. So, out of 12, I'm writing it in the bottom. How many shaded? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 goes here. Are you following, dear? Okay. Now, look at question number 7. Pencils. How many pencils are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and another row also 5 pencils. Obviously, 5 plus 5, how much? 10. Okay, good. So, 10 in the bottom. Out of 10, how many pencils shaded? All of them shaded. So that is why the correct answer for this is 10 out of 10. Isn't it? Okay. Now let's go to the next one quickly. 8. Question number 8. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So out of 9, how many shaded? I am writing it in the denominator place. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 shaded. So correct answer is 4 over 9. Isn't it? Okay, now question number 9. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Out of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4 again shaded. So, the correct answer for question number 9 is 4 out of 8 or 4 over 8. Okay, let's look at the last question of question number 1. So, this is, um, you can see the whole picture is divided into two equal parts. Left side. And the right side equally split but only one region shaded out of two that is why for this one the answer is one over two i hope you understand all the questions question number one okay you are ready to do question number two now let's proceed okay read the instruction carefully two Color the part according to the given fraction. So, these are all, all of them equal parts. We need to color accordingly. What is the first question? What is the fraction given? 1 over 6. So, obviously, 6 equal parts as you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But how many should be shaded? Which is in the numerator place? Only one portion to be shaded. So, let me shade it with this color. It looks good, isn't it? Nice color. So, this is the final answer. We colored the part according to the given fraction. Let's do the second one. 1 out of 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 equal parts which is in the bottom. But what is the top? The shaded region should be 1. So, let me shade one of the triangles with green. That's all. This is the answer for the second one. And now here, let's move on to third. 1 over 3. Obviously, 3 small rectangles as you can see. But the top number is 1. That means one of the part or one of the rectangles to be shaded. Let me use a different color again. Gray. Okay. 
one of them shaded question number 4 so 3 out of 4 out of 4 equal parts how many to be shaded 3 that is why it is given as 3 out of 4 so let me shade 3 parts mm, okay let me select these 3 oh it looks good colorful in this page isn't it okay 4 out of 9 so 9 parts all together 9 equal parts how many to be shaded 4 so let me shade 4 parts okay that's all this question is very easy right you understood all of them okay good now let's proceed to question number 3 identify the error if any so see this is one of this is one fourth this is three quarter we need to check whether any error in this questions in these questions but what did i tell you before whenever you want to write the shaded region as a fraction it should be split into equal parts but first question look at this a big triangle is it uh, separated equally no isn't it so it is not split e into equal parts so we cannot write it as 1 over 2 that is wrong that is the error so i can give this mark question number 2 is this 1 fourth actually out of 4 1 being shaded but they are not equal parts again it should be equal then only we can write the correct fraction like something like this if they are equal then only we can able to write the correct fraction but here again they are not equal parts so one fourth is not the correct answer that is the error we identified okay now look at the third one is this three fourth what do you think are they split into equal parts no not at all when you look at this part and this part this part they are all unequal they are not equal parts at all so again three parts been shaded but they are not equal that is why this is also wrong you understand so the main important point to remember whenever you are writing the shaded region as a fraction make sure that the figure is split into equal parts got it okay good let's move on to question number four what fraction of a day is eight hours so again we are going to write it as a fraction for one particular day how many hours in a day so i am typing it for you There are 24 hours in a day. You know very well, isn't it? So, uh, there are 24 hours in a day. We need to write what fraction of a day is 8 hours. So, the total parts or total hours in a day, 24, which goes to the denominator. And out of 24, we consider only 8. That is why 8 goes in the numerator. So, correct answer for question number 4 is 8 over 24, 8 upon 24. So, what fraction of a day is 8 hours? 8 over 24. If the question is about 9, what fraction of a day is 9 hours? It will be 9 by 24. What fraction of a day is 10 hours? It will be 10 over 24. Like that. You understand it? Okay. So, correct answer for 4 is 8 over 24. Okay, let's move on to question number 5. Look at question number 5. What fraction of an hour is 40 minutes? So, for this, we need to see how many minutes in one hour. So, how many minutes? You all very well familiar with these concepts. Hours, minutes, days, seconds. So, I am typing it for you. There are 
60 minutes in one hour. Isn't it? So, we need to write it as a fraction. Whenever we try to write it as a fraction, we need to make sure that both numerator and denominator also is of same unit. You know about unit, right? Unit means in this case, in this question, minutes, hours, that are all called units. In the previous question, days and hours. So we need to make sure that both numerator and denominator is of same unit. If you write a numerator and denominator, it should be of both in minutes or both in hours or both in days or both in hours and so on. So that is the reason we are converting hour into minutes. Because we are writing the fraction of an hour for 40 minutes. What fraction of an hour is 40 minutes? That is the reason we convert that hour also 60 minutes. Okay, now let's write it as a fraction. So, how many total minutes in one hour? 60. That goes to the denominator. And we should write the fraction only for 40 minutes. Write it in the numerator. So, this is the answer for question number 5. I hope you understand all the 5 questions. Let's discuss the next question in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care.